Hey Internet, this is Al over here at Paler, and uh, let's do a little more uh, AutoCAD stuff. Hey, let's work with properties today. Let's let's do something. Let's do a minute or so with colors. Okay, colors are found right up here. You see in your in your uh, uh, this first window on the left. Okay, so that's where we're going to be. First thing we want to do now is set up a workspace. So let's go down the command line, or you can do it up here. It doesn't matter. Type rec enter zero comma zero enter eleven comma eight point five enter. There's your eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Go up to your zoom menu and click zoom extends. There's eight and a half by eleven. All right, let's um let's pick up a uh, let's pick up a rectangle, something like that. That's good. And you know, if you want to make more rectangles, just go to your copy command, left click, put a little window around this, release, left click, enter, and pick it up someplace and move it. Uh, let me put ortho on there. We uh left click and left click and so on and so forth. All right, we can do all of that. Enter, enter. Okay. All right. Now, let's go up into our color window, which is a nice place to be. Oops. Hit escape. Thank you. And let's pick up red. Okay. Now, notice, whatever is in the, w the property window, whatever property is in any of these windows is going to be painted on your screen or drawn on the screen. In other words, if I stop making rectangles again, they're going to be red. If I change this to green, and I stop making rectangles again, they're going to be green. If I change it to uh, magenta, okay, uh, you know, guess what? They'll stop being magenta. Okay, so you got to be careful what property you have uh, visible up here. This is what I like to do, okay, and I do it because I've made enough mistakes, uh, you know. I like to take red, and I like to make a little red key right there. And then I'm going to think about another color I'm going to use, like green. And I'm going to pick up line. And I'm going to make a little key with some green on it. And then I'm going to go look around. I'm going to find some magenta, for instance. Pick up line, left click, left click, left click, enter. OK. And I put all of those things down there. And then I return this to its by layer black configuration. Now, how do I paint with that? You go to this property right here, Match Properties Window. Think of it as a bucket of paint with a paintbrush. Click it, left click. Come over and pick up Magenta, left click. Come over here and paint this one Magenta, left click. Okay? Now, for instance, if you do not deactivate this, that if you do not go Enter, Enter, everything you paint is going to be Magenta, unless you go Enter, Enter. See? Now, nothing happens. Now, how do we change this back to black, since we don't have a black in the key? Well, you have black in your workspace. Any color that's in your workspace, you can go to. Watch. Let's go to Paintbrush, Match Properties, left click. Let's pick up some black paint, left click, go over here, left click, enter, and we painted it black again. Enter, enter. That's it. Now, let's paint some green. Let's go up here to Properties. Pick up some green, left click, go over here, green, left click, enter, enter. And let's go over here and pick up red, left click. Okay, over here, left click, enter, enter. And there we have it. That's that's how we do colors, okay? All right, the Snapple fact of the day is camels have three eyelids. Camels have three eyelids. So now you know, this is Big Al over here at Paler, okay? Let's talk again.